One of my experiences that has just gripped my heart over the last, I guess, 10 years has been my involvement in community choirs and, uh, and in seeing uh, people time after time after time just talk about how they have actually literally been transformed by the presence of God. And these people that I am talking about will be, some of them, yeah, will have done the church thing, will call themselves Christians. But many, many people who were also coming to these choirs and being a part of these choirs have never done the church thing. Some people come to me and say, Geraldine, I want to be a part of these choirs, but I can't even sing. And I haven't sung since I was at nursery school. In fact, I was dismissed to the Groners Choir because I, I couldn't sing in tune. These people have been coming and have been saying things that start like, Geraldine, you don't know this, but I've been coming to these rehearsals and this song has really meant a, a lot to me when I've been struggling with, with bereavement. Geraldine, you don't know this, but I've been struggling with depression for the last 15 years and singing this song has really brought hope to me. Geraldine, you don't know this, but I lost my 18 year old boy um, two years ago. And when we sang Blessed Be Your Name, that song taught me how to sing again. Geraldine, you don't know this. And so on it goes. And story after story of life after life being transformed by being a part of a community that sings and sings songs of hope, of freedom, of the good news of Jesus. So I guess part of my passion for music in, and music within worship in the UK is how can we bring that more and more into our Sunday gatherings, into any of our gatherings, the place where the voice of the community is released in song and in expression and in story, a place where maybe even on some of the, the big conferences, a part of that dynamic is the choir singing and bringing expression to praise, to holding on in hard times, to being able to say, I'm not just wishing my life away or saying hallelujah anyhow, but what I am saying is that God is real, God is faithful, and I have got a song I can sing, even though I wouldn't call myself a Christian. This for me is good news, and this for me, I think, is a place where my hope, my prayer, my expectation is that something of that in terms of music and worship in the UK will be realised.